We want relationships. Like, here's here's my opinion on the situation. She said, "Give me the mic. Give me the mic. You're done. Yo, go sit on the bench." Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Cut it so out. we all do things to hide our face. You know better than that, and she know better than that. Cause I know her. She from my block. She know better than that. And when she get back here, we gonna have a conversation. Cause she knows better than to talk like that. She get in front of the camera. She go on a little vacation to Vegas and start talking reckless. Okay, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, man. She gave me an offer. I couldn't refuse. When somebody gave me an offer, you couldn't refuse. You don't refuse the offer. They couldn't refuse. So there can be an offer. You couldn't refuse because you refuse the offer. You gotta re refuse. You know? You looking at me when I'm talking to you? I want you to look at me when I'm talking to him. Cause when I'm talking to him, I might be talking to you. Only one sex rules of modern dating and understanding women. It's complicated. Hopefully, there's some funny shit in here. I ain't gonna lie. Hopefully, bitches just talking reckless and crazy, you no know, type of all types of scandalous. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, they got a nice juicy intro clip of somebody really saying something spicy. Somebody really talking out, talking out it right there. But let's get into it. Do you believe that men initially do really nice things for women because they eventually want sex? A majority of the time. If so, why would a woman ever accept an extravagant offer from a man if she wasn't interested in having sex? Because why not just get what you can? There are some greedy broads out there, you know? If you're not gonna give when you take... I mean, they're the ones asking you and they don't have to do something extravagant. It's a choice and they're choosing to do it and you're just accepting it. It is what it is. Isn't that leading a man on? Yes. And I don't agree with it. <laughs> Yes, leading a man on for extravagant said offer without putting out. Nice guy and a good man. Nice guys will play the part because they're expecting something in return. Nice guys will do favors for women with the expectation of sex as a return favor. Good men will do favors because out of the goodness of their heart for the goodness of humanity and without expecting something in return. Damn, she's cooking. So many women she's cooking. The only thing men care about when it's usually just the first thing. Um, probably because... We all been through the same shit over and over and over again. Like every guy that walks up to you, that's what they want from you. Like they just, they want to sleep with you. It's like hit it and quit it type shit, period. They think it's the only thing because you know, we vultures, we, we men, we lions out here. We pounce on everything we see. If you're gonna fuck me on the first date, then I don't want to be with you because you obviously <laughs> don't care about anything else than what the fuck I look like. I believe that a lot of women think it's the only thing a man cares about because it's the first thing. Because for women, we tend to prioritize where something is going, where the intentions are, where the investments are. Whereas a man likes to start with the sex and then determine whether or not he wants to factor in any of those other things. And because of that, that is one of the last things we consider most often. Whereas that's one of the first things men consider for us. It feels like if that's what they're jumping to, then all the things before it must not matter to them. What is the first thing that pops in your head when you see a really hot guy? Damn. <laughs> Damn, he's hot. I hope he notices me. I observe how much work he's taken to get there. Um, the ah. physical and mental discipline that it would have taken to get to that point. I reflect on the fact that that must have taken some good qualities and character for him to have achieved that look i feel like she's saying the politically correct answer like there's some people that are just naturally beautiful like men and women there's some men and women that are just naturally beautiful like hey yo you call him bro he's bro he's beautiful like what are you talking about like hey yo you saying he's like bro yes he's beautiful i don't want to i have no desire to fuck him but he's beautiful like niggas be so weird with that shit bro I don't immediately think about, oh, I want to sleep with him. I more observe the I amount. Think, I think that I see him and they're hot and I just want to sleep with them. <laughs> I think that's actually a perfect example of how different people can be. Um, what I see is I see the effort that they put into that. What she sees is a really, really hot guy that she wouldn't mind getting in bed with. Yeah, <laughs> Everybody's different, men that's and nice. women. What are your thoughts on the following expression? Men fall in love with their eyes, women fall in love with their ears. I think uh -huh, I think that's true because men say a lot of, well, tend to say a lot of things to get, a, like, to get to a woman to do certain things. Like, they lie and stuff like that, or may, like, love bomb, kind of. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's meaning those kind of things. And women believe it. Isn't that why women wear makeup and it's why men lie? Yeah, no. exactly true. No. And also pretty girls no. have endless opportunities no. with the same no. guys. Isn't that why women wear makeup and it's why men lie? 
That's cute. I like it, but men also have beards to hide their faces. And hats. It does not work that way. You cannot compare you putting on makeup to me wearing a beard. Like, that's not how it works. Like, literally, God gave me a beard. God gave me this beard. God did not give you concealer and foundation and blush. What are we talking about? That's not how it works. I was, I'm a man, like, that's like saying, oh, you know, um, a deer is not beautiful because if you shave all his fur off, nigga, that's a part of the deer. That's a part of the hair. Like, it's, that's like, all right, you shave your head bald, bitch. You're going to look mad different. Yeah, but God gave you that. But now because I have a beard and you mad that I look sexy with mine, you feel me? It's funny because I don't have no, I have literally no facial hair right now, but I'm, I'm sexy regardless. But I'm saying the point is, let's not, let's not deviate from the point. Let's not deviate. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get distracted. The point is that I was that I am naturally grow out of my face and comparing it with something that you buy to conceal up your actual face. Stop it. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Cut so it out. we all do things to hide our face. You know better than that. And she know better than that. Because I know her. She from my block. She know better than that. And when she get back here, we gonna have a conversation. Because she knows better than to talk like that. She get in front of the camera. She go on a little vacation to Vegas and start talking reckless. She know better than that. I told her better than that. Like, act like you got some sense. When you leave my block, you represent my block. Stop talking crazy. With the eyes and appear better looking to people. When it comes to relationships, what do women bring to the table? Uh, where women were just superior, period. Some women believe that they don't have to bring anything to the table. And just by being a woman, that's enough. Other women believe that they should bring character, morals, standards, loyalty intellect conversation fun livelihood what do i bring to the table so i'm thinking nothing sense of humor no no yeah We're humor i bring no. i do a lot in the beginning too i also um put myself out there and pretend like i'm a very homely uh homemaker <laughs> and then as time goes on i let that go a lot of women i'm disappointed uh you know what i'm saying like i'm disappointed but to be fair to women though it's like men and women equally play part in the in the dating market. So if let's say she doesn't have nothing to offer but a fat ass, like a lot of niggas is going to take that and run with it. Like, hey, she got a fat ass. I'm taking that. Like, that's really like, you know what I mean? That's really the sad part. Like, it's if if she let's say she doesn't bring nothing to the table and she feels that that's OK. Hypothetically, let's say let's just say that, for example, like. It's niggas' fault for being so fucking thirsty. Like, niggas is like, bro, I don't care. Like, she got a fat ass. I'm on that. Like, she could be butters in the face. If she got a fat ass or niggas is going to go crazy to try to knock that down, you know, or to, to, to move in a way, it's just like, it's your fault. I ain't never had to. I just exist and niggas, and niggas kiss the ground that I walk on. And she might be right. And to an extent, like, of niggas just trying to fuck. But, you know, she might be right. Like, niggas might just kiss the ground she walk on just for no reason. Because niggas are so thirsty and, and so down bad. And so, now it's just like, you throwing off the equilibrium of the of the ecosystem. Now the, now the food chain is all messed up. Have brought those things to the table. And then they've gotten screwed. Bye. Do you think strength is a gift? Talk to him, bro. It's not. Everything you've seen me do was made possible by what you don't see. Because mm, when you're not looking, I go to work. My fault. By men who took advantage of what they were bringing to the table. Now, unfortunately, I do believe that men have a mentality of... You think about a mentality that a man is taught for work. Get as much as you can for as little effort as possible. That's how you climb the ladder. Most men are not taught how to do relationships. They're taught how to succeed in the workplace. And a lot of men, because they aren't taught relationships from their fathers, they transfer that mentality into relationships. What we end up seeing then is men that are testing the waters. How little can I put in for a maximum return? And women feel used. Because of that, women feel like they don't have to bring anything to the table anymore. And that they should just be appreciated for just simply being there. And it's a very toxic cycle. That's a take right there. That's a that's a take. Um, I don't really I don't you know, it's interesting because the I don't I'm not really connected with the world and how the world views things and the world's views on things. Um, I'm I've always been of the or not always, but 
kind of, I would say semi grown up. Like, growing up, I listened to, like, E.T. and I listened to certain people and they always say add value. I'm always of the mindset that you have to add more value than you're going to get back in return. So hypothetically, right, if I want to have, if I want to make a million dollars off YouTube per year, I need to be giving out a, a million, uh, $1,200,000 worth of value, if that makes sense. So I'm always of the mindset that, especially as a man, you have to get more value than you're probably going to get. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to be, if you're going to get, let's say a, if you're a, a guy in the sexual marketplace value and you're a nine, you know, most likely you're going to get a girl that's maybe like an eight or maybe a seven, I guess. Um, and that's just going to be the exchange. So I'm always of the mindset that you need to get more than you're going to get. Even in, even in, re in relationships, you're probably, you know, if you're a man of substance and you're a man of high quality, you, you're probably going to give a little bit more than what you get. Um, but that's a take right there. I don't know how the rest of the world views things. Like, yeah, you just do. But that's how people go to work. People go to work, like, trying to get over and cut corners and, like, you know what I mean? But that's if you're doing something that you really have no passion for, in my opinion. Like, if you really have, a, like, I really, I really want to do this YouTube shit for real. Like, I'm really trying to figure out what I got to do to make it. So, I'm willing to do whatever. Like, I'm not cutting no corners. I'm not cheating the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not cheating the game. I'm getting up every day locking in. I'm getting up every day and locking in. I'm getting up every day and rewatching my content. I'm getting up every day and, and looking at what other people is doing and seeing how I can implement. I'm looking. I'm waking up every day to see what niggas is on and what's trendy and how to woo woo. Like I'm waking up every day not cutting corners. I learned. I really did learn at a young age. Like yo, you can't cut corners. There's no such thing as cutting corners because those same people that cut corners. They be like, oh, why this happened to me? Like it's the funniest thing. People will steal and lie and cheat. And and then no because nobody because nobody seen or because nobody said they seen they all like oh yeah I'm slick I got over and then some shicey shit happened to them now it's oh what was me why do bad things happen to good people no it's just you didn't get over there's no such thing as getting is getting over you just you know what I'm saying karma whatever you want to call it you know the measure that you give shall be given on to you so if you shit on people best believe you're gonna get shit on at the end of the day. That's just how, like, that's just the nature of the game. People be like, oh, yeah, you know, I got over. You didn't get over. There's no such thing as getting over. There's no such thing as working smarter, though. But cutting corners and, like, trying to be manipulative and sneaky and, you know, like, not give your whole heart, that's really if you... That's a different mindset, but that might be the way the world views things, though. Honestly, like, a lot of people go to work with that energy. Like, yeah, I'm going to come in and just do the bare minimum and get my check and leave. And that's, I, I feel like that's kind of moving with a lack of purpose, you know, moving with a lack of integrity and moving with a lack of like, like, why am I on this earth? Like, you know, like, I am just go to work and do this and like, or you might just be doing it to feed your family, whatever. I don't know. But she might be right. All in all, she might be right. Men are typically expected to court women, approach women, ask them out on dates, pick them up, pay for dates, make the first move. What are women expected to do to build a relationship? Well, I feel like the women, a woman is where it all starts. Like, without a woman, there would be no relationship. Like, I don't know. Men don't know what they're doing without a woman. So, like, why do you think men are always chasing women? Because what are, what are they supposed to do without us? I mean, stereotypically, women are supposed to be these pretty little feathers that, you know, guys can pick up and you can wine and dine and take home so that's what they're supposed to bring to the table could that possibly be a reason why so many men want sex without relationships yes absolutely is it fair to assume that the women who complain men only want sex is because sex is all those women are bringing to the table table yes Mm-hmm. Possible. Oh well, I'm a woman, so. Oh, other shorty gone. Other shorty say, yo, I'm look, I'm I'm gone. You know what I'm saying you hold it down for the both of us. You know what I'm saying you got this. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go and sk I'm gonna uh, skedaddle. I'm out. I can do whatever I want, and he should just bring everything, and I'm just gonna sit back in my golden throne and watch what he brings to the table. Women should humble themselves and work on their character so that they have something to bring to the relationship as well. Who is more shallow, men or women? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, shallow. Both. We, yeah. we all are. We all are. Yeah. Women are more shallow because they want too many things out of this world. It's like you can never please them. No matter how much you give, it's like you still got to keep giving it. Tiffany and Co. Fanny. That's why all these stores are here. Louis Vuitton. They can't get enough of these Birkin bags. It's crazy.
Are women more shallow because they want too many things, or are men more shallow because they only want one thing? Women expect the impossible sometimes, I think. That's a good point. Um, I don't know. I don't know. When it comes to dating, do women care more about what men actually want or what women think men should want? Uh, the first one. What do men actually want? Uh, I don't know. I wish I did know. Mm. I think we're all kind of wondering. Mm. No, I think women care about what sh they want, like what she wants. I don't. When I go on a date, I don't care what he wants. Like I'm looking if I really like the guy, not if that guy is liking me back. That's what you're supposed to be. That's what you're supposed to be, in my opinion. Like if I'm, I'm if I'm walking up to a girl, I'm not being like, damn, I hope she likes me. It's like, nah, I want to see what your energy is. I want to see if I actually like you. You know what I'm saying? Cause I already you already thinking about you. You thinking about oh like I right, cool. Like I'm I'm a random dude coming up to you. You like first you might like, you know, depending on if I'm smooth with it, if I slide in the interaction or you know, smooth. But you thinking like, all right, this dude is in my space. How do I feel about him? Right? And so it should be like it should be the same thing. Like, all right, cool. Like I just want to see your energy. I'm a, I'm gonna show you my personality. I'm gonna show you like you know the best part to me to an extent and you know how you feel about that you feel about that and if you if you like that you know now i gotta see if i like you that's what the energy is supposed to be you're seeing if you like them that's coming from a place of value you know what i mean like hoping the person automatically likes you before you even know the person at all is just like you don't really value yourself like that probably when we're picking a long-term mate, we're going to be looking for men that want things that we want, meaning long-term relationships, loyalty. They're going to want to put aside selfishness in order for to preserve the betterment of the commitment between the two back. of those people. And there are a lot of men that want that, but it's not to say that men that want casual sex or hookups or whatever it is, that we don't think that they should want that. We're just looking for the ones that want what we think they should want and typically what we think they should want is going to line up with what we want when you first meet a guy how do you decide if he's going to be a friend or more than a friend and more importantly when do you decide That's a good because question. it's often said a woman will know right away the vibes energy you can feel it in the energy. what did i tell niggas yesterday <laughs> bro it's all about the energy bro niggas be focused on the wrong thing like if the energy's right Everything else will flow. What you want to say and your your intentions and your energy and your just your 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 vibe. You know what I mean? It's not there's nothing else to really say around it. Like if that is on point, all the shit about what you gotta say, like whatever. Like and you're not gonna make 100 percent of the shots no matter what who you are, your energy. But I'm saying like the way that you give yourself the best chances with the energy. I'm telling y'all, it's the vibe. And what does that mean, energy vibe? It's coming in with the right intentions, coming in with a high level of confidence, a high level of self-value, you know, a, a, a level of not being afraid of the interaction, you know what I mean? Being okay with being open and, and you know, being loose, you know what I mean? Being your, the best version of yourself, you know, being somebody who's interesting and not in their head and not clogging their head with fear and, and, and you know, stagnant and, you know, scared and low value somebody who's gonna poke their chest out a little bit you know what i'm saying walk into the room with some type of demeanor decorum and, and energy and and self-belief and confidence about himself that's really where the vibe begins at you know what i'm saying like coming in feeling like you him at the end of the day if you don't connect with somebody right away then like i feel like there's no point like, there's no point at all. Why would you have to work for it when there's people out there when it's just, like, a snap? Like, you just feel it. You can tell if you're attracted to somebody instantly, but I also have had bonds that have grown. So, you can't really tell. I don't care what people say. You can have an instant attraction, but it can grow. I was married, and I got unmarried because I had an instant attraction with somebody one time. Unmarried. I never heard somebody say unmarried. That's kind of... How do I feel about that? I got unmarried. That sounds sketchy. Can grow. I was married and I got unmarried because I had an instant attraction with somebody one time. What if Damn, like she's really for the streets. Like, that's tough. Imagine like that's really like your but that this is this is the whole this is full circle in my opinion. 
Like, this is why you should never be with a woman that don't really want to be with you. Like, you don't want to be with a woman that's with you because, like, ah, whatever. Like, he's the best thing I can do right now because you're going to end up getting hurt in the end. Like, that's why I'm saying you cannot cut corners. You cannot, I, I'm going to just try to get this little cheap whatever and, and work for this. Like, no, you have to do the real work. You have to do the work within you to build your character, to build your person, um, you know, in order for you to attract good quality people and have standards and have discipline. That's why niggas don't, that don't have dick discipline, bro, those niggas is going to lose in the end. You have no dick discipline, you're going to lose in the end. Long game? Oh, I'm getting over. I'm knocking this down, knocking this down. Oh, I'm getting, oh, yeah, we, t like, no. In the long game, you're going to lose. If you don't play the game the right way in the long game, you're going to lose. You know, and there's a lot of times some people don't even do a lot of things wrong and they still get screwed in the end. But at the end of the day, you have to know the person's character and who you're going to be with. It don't matter how fine she is, bro, like. Imagine being married to a woman and y'all building like in your mind for years You have this mindset of like I right, we're building a life together. I'm doing I'm moving because I'm moving with purpose So I'm doing what I'm doing for her. I want her. I want her to eat You know what I'm saying like obviously I want me to have purpose and I want me to succeed But I want like she's my partner. I want her to thrive and all of that in order for her to divorce you because Oh, I saw somebody he looked good and that's tough. You know what I'm saying like that's that's really that's that's tough you know, that's why you can't cut corners. Like, if she don't like you, don't don't try to force that because you're undisciplined. Don't be undisciplined. Like, oh, you know, she don't like me, but I really want her. Don't let your lust get in the way because you're going to lose in the end. Even if you do get her, you're going to lose in the end. You're probably going to lose in the end. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a Forrest Gump ass nigga. Do not be a Forrest Gump ass nigga. Between a romantic relationship versus friends with benefits. Well, if it's friends with benefits, you're f***ing. If you're in a relationship, there's an emotional connection. Yeah, usually friends with benefits, which I've had before in the past, is just, hey, can we hook up? Cool. Okay, we're done. Great, bye. Who's more likely to want friends with benefits, men or women? Whoever's hornier. <laughs> Who is more likely to want friends with benefits, men or women? Men. Why? Isn't that an obvious answer? Okay, if, if men, wait, wait, okay. If men typically just want sex, why aren't most relationships friends with benefits? Mm. Because women get what they want. Facts. I don't think she a baddie. She get what she. What she say? Uh, you know what Ice Spice said. I don't remember her line like that, but Ice Spice said that she a baddie. She get what she want, or she a baddie. She knows she a ten. She a baddie with her baddie friend. Shaking ass in the deli. Something like that. You feel me? Typically want sex. They also want belonging and love, too. But, of course, on the stereotypical outside, they are the they want sex. But guess what? Women these days want sex, too. And now we're more open and honest about it. What's the difference between the type of woman men want to sleep with and the type men want relationships with? Men want to sleep with someone who they consider sexy and hot, but they want a relationship with someone that they want to have a family with and have kids with. Are women today more interested in relationships or hookups? I feel like low-key... Hookups because relationships are shit. We want relationships. Like, here's here's my opinion on the situation. She said, "Give me the mic. Give me the mic. You're done. Yo, go sit on the bench." Most women want relationships, but they've been taught that relationships are not going to give them anything worthwhile. So they've been taught that the only way for them to get ahead is to play into hookup culture. So most women are engaging in hookup culture, but if you really get down to what they want, they want relationships. But they've given up on them. So if women are more interested in hookups, how can a man let a woman know he just wants to hook up without making her feel like a slut? I say just be straight up. He can just say it to her face. It's not so hard to be honest. Just say it. Say it. Be honest. He could tell her straight up over the text, or oh, before they even get to meeting, before, like, let it be known, let the, let the line be known before anything starts, you know? If women want honesty, why do they complain that men only want sex? If women want honesty, why do they complain when men only want sex? That's a good ass question. That's not, that's not even getting into that. <laughs> they can't handle the truth. It looks like it, it looks like basically they can't handle the truth. Truth hurts. If you tell them the truth that you just want to, how you been night. doing it? Who you been doing it with? Truth hurts. 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 Truth hur
Because the, yeah. Like, they'll go to, I feel like they'll go to the yeah. chair. So you like it if a guy, like, will simp for you, kind of, or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that shit's hot. Yeah. But, like, not on a level that it's like, you're too nice to me. Like, don't be too nice to me. So, yeah. like, be, be nice, but not too nice? Nah, don't be too yes. nice. Like, don't, don't like, be nice, nice at all. Like, like, don't be nice at all. Forget being nice. Just be you, nigga. Like you being nice, not make, gonna make her pussy wet. Let's just be honest. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make her pussy wet. It's gonna make it dry up. You know what I'm saying? If you're a good person, be a good person, but don't be nice. Don't be agreeable. I'm gonna like be kind of toxic. Okay. Oh man, women like okay. toxic. <laughs> it's a real thing. If he is extremely, extremely nice, that gives like a feminine energy vibe. So it's like a turn off, and it's mm. like a completely no, like friend zone. Mm. What are your thoughts on the mm. following statement? A woman is more likely to feel emotionally connected before she can experience physical intimacy, while a man is more likely to experience physical intimacy before he can feel emotionally connected. Uh, I have, I've had a girlfriend that said that. She was like, I need to feel emotionally connected before I can do anything with them. I have been the opposite. If I yeah, no. if physically am attracted to somebody, I'm into it, and I'm ready to go. A lot of men use sex in place of emotional intimacy. So a lot of men think that they're building emotional intimacy through sex, and then it turns out... It's kind of the only outlet they know of to experience emotions. Do you believe that having sex on a first date discourages a man from wanting a potential relationship? Not with me and Jess, but yes. Some Not guys feel like Jess. they conquered it and they're like, all right, we're done. Post not clarity. If a woman gives a man sex right away, do you think he's going to think more or less of her? I believe that oftentimes men will think less because they may view her as easy to access and that may make them doubt whether or not she's going to stay loyal long term. That does not necessarily mean that that's true, but it does mean it might give the man that impression. Why would the man automatically see her as easy to access as opposed to seeing himself as the right guy who she'll break rules for? Facts. You know what's funny? I actually do believe that a lot of people get into that mindset of thinking they're going to be the special one that changes somebody's nature. Um, and I think a lot of men and women fall into that. I don't really believe that any man is going to just jump to conclusions rather than thinking he's the special exception that's going to change her. I think that is completely dependent on the man. All right, we done. We finished. Out of way. Out of way.